Okay, it's now officially tomorrow. It's 12.15. It's too late for me. But I had a question that I wanted to pose myself and then learn about the answer as I answered it. My personality type, my learning style is by talking, which is why it's helpful for me to make these videos because I don't actually know what I believe or what I think until I say it out loud. So I'm learning at the same time as you are. So my question is this. If the point of journalism is to find truth, but the journalism financial structure is to get attention, then that causes a problem for the integrity of truth. So if journalists aren't looking for truth in the purest sense, who's looking for truth? Whose job is it to look for truth? Is it philosophers? Is it scientists? I don't know. I feel like my job is to find truth. I spend a lot of time thinking about that. Trying to assess what I, what I know and what I don't know. And the more I learn, the more I realize I don't know very much. Or that everything that I thought I knew might be wrong. I have a lot of those moments. So it's always like back to the drawing board. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, it comes back to my experience. What have I tried myself and what has worked and what hasn't worked? Especially in this day and age where nobody knows who to believe or what sources are credible. I'm reading a book by Ray Dalio called Principles and he created this uh, it was really impressive company uh, with a great culture and um, one of the richest people in the world and all that but he has these principles that he's meticulously written down and I like that his very first principle was to seek the truth because if you don't know the truth then there's nothing you can do about it and I'm gonna be very honest right now uh, and say that one of my great skills is to do spin. I've always known this. Uh, I've been good at presenting truth in a way that suits my needs. And this has probably been a co coping mechanism of some kind for me. Um, but I'm very keenly aware that I'm good at, I'm good at lying with the truth. Because you can say things in different ways and you could argue that both ways are true. And the thing is that truth has so many shades, there's so many nuances and so many perspectives that it's impossible for someone to say the truth using just simple words. And in my view, if there's different ways to say the truth or to point towards truth, why not use the way that's most beneficial? Now, some people might call that opportunism, but, I mean, that's another question. I, I keep a list of questions on my phone. One of them was about, you know, who who's actually seeking truth now. Another question is, um, is it good to take advantage if you can? I, I think the answer to that one is it depends. But just as a, as a pure concept, you know, to take advantage. If you have an advantage, should you take it? So I feel like when I'm telling the truth, I tell the most advantageous truth. The truth that spares me from trouble or that helps me gain something. And that might be manipulation. I'm not sure. I'm not sh actually sure where the border between manipulation and truth is because if someone were to call me out on something they'd be like oh that's not technically correct I'd be like okay 
are we in a technical world now? Is that the frame that we're having this conversation? Because my frame is not technical. I speak with a lot of hyperbole and I think big. So, yeah, truth. It's a sneaky devil. I don't know, you tell me. Who is seeking truth? Good night.